so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and we have a huge release yesterday that is flux point 2 the og ai image generation model has been released a new version is released with multiple variants as well in this short video i would be explaining you how you can use the model for free yes you heard it right as the model is open source and considers very less number of parameters even though if you're not able to run it locally you can use it for free so let's get started so first of all to use it for free i'll be showing you how to use it you just need to go to the black forest labs playground as you can see here just click here and you will be entered a playground here you can see where flux point to flex can be used there are multiple variants of the model this is one of the variants 50 free images are also there for you to generate and test out the model images from the community a human like dog riding a blue pony in a western u.s landscape that includes a grand canyon under blue skies an image features a side view of a futuristic humanoid robot or cyborg set against a bold red background so like this there are multiple images you can also change the dimension multiple things can be done so let's test out the model on few of my prompts that I think are important. So one of the prompts that I'm testing the model is on anatomical sandy check, a full body portrait of a marathon runner and a mid-stride early morning light, sweat catching the sun. So it will help you understand whether it is able to generate the body parts correctly or not. Let's get started. And let's hit enter. And here are the samples generated which are looking quite interesting. Something that is catching my eyes is a shoelace. They are a bit long, but it's still, I think the image looks quite good. The athlete is fully sweaty and looks very interesting, as you can see here. We will be also discussing about the details of the model, so don't worry about it. But the eye, the entire body looks quite realistic and nothing is going off the shape. Now let's try out our another prompt. The next prompt that we are Testing out a spatial reasoning under clutter. A crammed workshop filled with half finished wooden toys, shelves stacked with chisels, glue bottles, random screws that don't match. Let's see what it generates for this. Let's try this out. Let's hit enter. Upon flux point 2, you can even try flux point 2 pro, also the better model. There are just two variants that are available for free to use here as you can see now 42 images remain as we have generating four images at our time you can change the batch size to one or two also so for next time we'll be changing it to one so that you don't hit up your free criteria but you can generate 50 images per account so that is enough and this is how you can use flux point to the latest most advanced AI image generation model for free though the time taken by flux point to looks to be a little high on the higher end but the quality looks quite good now here is the image generated as you can see half created wooden toys the image looks quite realistic very interesting and highly cluttered you can see that there are multiple elements present in the image but everything looks quite interesting absolutely correct what a model has been released i think even on benchmarks also the model is able to beat out multiple other models too so this is how you can use the free version of flux point 2 for free using the bfl that is the black forest labs playground you need to enter your details also here once you're using it now there are other methods also to use the model for free the next one is Arno, our favorite comfy UI blog that is Flux.2 Day Zero support. So you can even use comfy UI to use this model for free. Run comfy UI com, Flux.2 dev on comfy cloud. You just need to click here and then start running it. I'm not a pro on comfy UI but this, this can be used to run the model for free. So you can definitely try it out. Apart from that as we all know Flux.2 dev was released on Hugging Face also. You can generate image to image also and you can provide a prompt also. Some inference providers are already present on Hugging Face also for free. So you can try Hugging Face also to use the model for free for your references. 
Now, once we are done, let's try to deep dive into the details of the model. So the first option is to use BFL playground. Second is to use comfy UI and the third one is to use hugging face. So what is flux point to state of the art AI image generation model capable of generating and editing images. Also open core approach, balancing accessibility with enterprise features delivers four megapixel photorealistic outputs as well. From flux point one to flux point two, what are the differences? Better consistency, reduced hallucination, improved lighting, high resolution up to four megapixel, and more reliable text rendering is there. Key features: multi-reference embedding, up to ten images embedding process simultaneously, photo real details and stable lightning, high fidelity text rendering, structured prompt interpretation, and four megapixel editing also. The, there are five models that has been released. One is Pro, that is Enterprise. Flux.2 Flex exposes internal parameters for developers to push fidelity or speed as needed. More of the customized version, we can say. Flux.2 Dev is open source. Flux.2 Clean is coming soon. And Flux.2 Way, that is Variational Auto Encoder, is also there. And these are the details of all the five models that are released in the Flux.2 model family. Inside the architecture, they are using three things. One is Mistral 3 derived 24 billion vision language model, followed by a rectified for transformer, and then a new variational autoencoder latent space is getting used. Economic impact and use, I think cost reduction is quite heavy. Fewer retries, fewer manual flexes, and fewer dead outputs are there. Where this is heading, stepping stone towards visual intelligence now. Models that can reason, remember, and adapt with high fidelity, blurring the line between image model and multi model engine. I think this is very crucial that I was also thinking about. Soon, I think multi model image might be able to output images too. Conclusion production grid AI image generation, consistent outputs, improved text render, and economic impact is also there. With this, it's a wrap. I hope you try out the new model Flux.2 on the given free platforms. Thank you so much.